Hello all and welcome back to my channel. I am Rebecca Bhattacharya and I will be continuing with my deep learning playlist. Uh, in my previous lecture, I have already told you about the activation functions and the problems with the activation function and I have already also told you that uh, um, uh, some weights are initialized to, the, to each of the layers of the neural networks. Now today I am going to tell you uh, about uh, these weight initialization techniques, uh, means how these uh, weights are initialized uh, to each of the layers of the neural networks. Uh, the, the, these techniques have been uh, actually found out by some of the researchers. Uh, so there are some techniques based on which these weights are initialized. Uh, in this lecture, I'm going to tell you about the three weight initialization techniques, that is the uniform distribution technique, Xavier or Glorot distribution technique, uh, and the last one is the Hay init technique. So these are the three techniques that have been found out by the researchers and the scientists in order to initialize the weights to each of the layers of the neural networks. Uh, so if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So let's start with the first uh, part or the first topic that is the uniform distribution technique. Now before going to the uniform distribution techniques, there are some key points that you need to remember uh, for each of the three techniques in order to initialize the weights. So what are the key points? Now these key points, first key point is that weights should be small. Now I have already told you in my previous lecture that in sigmoid activation function, uh, the, if the weights are very large then it uh, can create the exploding gradient problem. So for this in order to eliminate this exploding gradient problem, we have to make sure that the weights are uh, initialized small. So small means not too small uh, and um, it should not be also too large. It should be medium small. So this is the first point that you should remember. Now the second point is that weights should not be same. Now consider this picture. Uh, this is actually the input layer, the green neurons are the input layer, the blue neurons are the hidden layer and the maroon neurons are the output layer. So suppose uh, in the, the first neuron, from the first neuron there are, uh, th uh, there are four connections that are coming out from the first neuron and again from the the uh, second neuron of the input layer, four connections are coming out. Now, if uh, the weights of each of the connections are same, then what will happen? You know that each of these neurons are responsible for learning some features from the input layer. So when we are applying uh, the, the input to the input layer, uh, these neurons are learning some features from each of these uh, neurons from the input layer based on the weights. Now if the weights are the same, then the neurons will not learn different features from the neurons and it will keep on learning the same features from the neuron and in that case the prediction will be uh, wrong or the actual uh, output or actual output will not be equal or approximately equal to the predicted output because if the weights are equal then the neurons are learning the same features from the input uh, layer and uh, it cannot perform the training and the prediction properly. For this case, uh, weights should have good variance. So now uh, what, uh, what does it mean that weights should have good variance? Now you can see from this picture that this particular neuron, from this particular neuron there are four connections and, uh, that are uh, going to the four neurons of the hidden layer. Now uh, variance means that uh, suppose that from the first neuron your weight is initialized to 5. Suppose this weight is initialized to 5. Okay. Now when uh, the uh, connection from the same neuron is going to the second neuron or the blue second blue neuron of the hidden layer 
its weight should be different means uh, this connection will have suppose weight 7 so this is actually the variance uh, means the uh, connection that are coming out from the uh, first neuron uh, one connection will have uh, a, a particular weight and the second connection uh, that is coming out from the second uh, from the same neuron will have some different weights so this is the variance means each of the um, the, each of the weights that are initialized to the connections or to the network connections coming out from a particular neuron should be different. This actually helps the neural network to learn different features of the from the input layer, and in turn, it helps to uh, pred uh, and it helps in the correct prediction of uh, correct prediction, or it uh, produces the. Uh, correct output in the output layer. So these are actually the three points that you need to remember before proceeding to the techniques of the weight initialization. Now based on these techniques, three, uh, based on these uh, points, uh, three techniques have been, uh, have been discovered or have been found out by the researchers. So uh, let's see the first technique that is the uniform distribution. Now this is the first technique of weight initialization and uh, the uniform distribution says that the weights are actually selected randomly from a uniform distribution. The uniform distribution is given by this formula that is Wij is equivalent to uniform minus 1 by root over of Ni uh, to uh, 1 by root over of Ni. Now here M and N. What is M? M is actually the lower limit and N is actually the upper limit. So this is this uniform uh, formula is actually defining a range. Now this range is minus 1 by root over of Ni. Now what is Ni? So let's consider this figure. Uh, this is actually the input layer. You can see here there are two neurons. One is pink and one is small. So now um, the, from the pink neurons, how many network connections are coming out? So you can see that 1, 2 and 3. Again, from the small uh, neuron, how many network connections are coming out? 1, 2 and 3. So you can see from this figure that from both of the two neurons in the input layer, uh, three neurons are coming out from each of the uh, three uh, network connections are coming out from each of the neurons. So this Ni is actually the number of network connections that are coming out from that particular layer or from each neuron. Number of network connections coming out from that particular layer means from the pink neuron three network connections are coming out and from the six neuron again three new, uh, three net, uh, network connections are coming out so in this case minus 1 by root over of 6 comma 1 by root over of ni again comma 1 by root over of 6 so in this case the range will be minus 1 by root over of 6 to 1 by root over of 6 so between these range the weights will be initialized and between this range the weights will be actually selected randomly uh, by the system and uh, after that the, uh, the operations will be performed. So this is actually the first type of weight initialization techniques that is the uniform distribution technique. Now the second type of weight initialization technique is that the uh, Xavier or Glorot distribution. Now, there are uh, two types of uh, techniques in this Xavier and Glorot distribution. The first technique is that Xavier or Glorot normal. Now, the formula for this is that uh, this is actually selected from the normal distribution of 0, comma, sigma. Here, sigma is actually given by this formula that is root over of 2 by Ni plus N naught. So, this is actually the range that is 0, comma, sigma and this um, the uh, weights are randomly selected from the normal distribution of this range. Now I have already told you about what is Ni. 
I have already told you that Ni is the number of network connections that are coming out from that particular layer. And what is N not? N not is actually the num uh, that is going to that particular Ni is actually the number of network connections that are going to that going inside or the incoming network connection to that particular layer and n naught is actually the number of network connections that are coming out from that particular layer or the outgoing network connections uh, from that particular layer so if you see this hidden layer you can see that the number of incoming network connections is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so there are six uh, network connections that are um, going to the hidden layer or six uh, incoming network connections and the, from the hidden layer there are three outgoing network connections that is 1 2 and 3 so there are three um, uh, network connections that are coming out from the hidden layer so in this case a naught will be equal to 3 so this is actually the formula for the Xavier or Glorot normal that is sigma 0 to sigma will be the range and sigma is equal to root over of 2 ni plus n naught uh, and between this range this is actually forming the range between this range the weights will be initialized means the weights will be selected randomly by the system. The second uh, the technique uh, in the Xavier or Glorot distribution is that the Xavier or Glorot uniform. Now the formula will be the this is the formula and uh, it is selected from the uniform distribution of uh, this range that is minus root over of 6 by ni plus n naught comma root over of 6 by ni plus n naught. So here in this if I consider this picture then ni will be equal to 6 and n naught will be equal to 3. I have already explained you why ni is equal to 6 and ni is equal to 3. So the range will be minus root over of 6 by, uh, root, uh, by 6 plus 3 that is minus root 6 by 9 comma root 6 by 9. So between this range the uh, this is uh, the actually the uniform distribution between the uniform the distribution of this range of minus root 6 by 9 comma root 6 by 9 the weights will be initialized the weights will be selected randomly between the uniform distribution uh, from the uniform distribution of this range so these are actually the two techniques in the Xavier or Glorot distribution so you can see that uh, in the uniform distribution as uh, if you uh, if you go back and see in the uniform distribution only the incoming network connections are considered only the uh, network connection which are going to the uh, layer or going to the particular layer is considered and in the Xavier or the Glorot distribution as you can see that both the incoming and the outgoing network connections are considered. So this is actually the difference between the uniform uh, distribution and the Xavier or the Glorot distribution. Now the third uh, type of technique is the Hay init technique or the Hay init uh, weight initialization technique. Here also there are two types of technique in Hay init. First is the Hay init normal and the formula is that this is the formula. So hay init normal is the first uh, type of uh, uh, technique in the hay init. Hay init is actually the, um, the actually it is uh, the uh, uh, the main uh, technique is hay init and uh, bit uh, and um, inside hay init there are two techniques that is the hay init normal first technique. So this is the formula for the hay init normal that is again the weights will be initialized uh, from a normal distribution of 0 comma sigma and here sigma is equal to root over of 2 by ni. Here in case of normal only the incoming network connections are considered. So here you can see that only ni is given so only the incoming network connections will be considered means uh, if we consider this uh, this picture again, uh, you can um, see here that there are six 
network connections that are going to the hidden layer so in the hey init normal technique only the uh, incoming network connections will be considered so here sigma is equal to root over of 2 by 6 so the normal distribution uh, range will be 0 to root over of 2 by 6 from this uh, range the normal from the normal distribution of this range the weights will be initialized the second technique in hey init is hey init uniform so the formula will be this that is w i j uniform uh, so this is again the formula so you can see here that hey init uniform also uses only the incoming network connections that is you can see from this uh, uh, form, uh, re uh, formula that the range is minus root over of 6 by ni comma root over of 6 by ni so in hey init uniform only the incoming uh, uh, network connections will be considered so again if we consider this picture this range will be minus root 6 by 6 comma root 6 by 6 so the uh, system uh, will select the now weights randomly based on the uniform distribution of this range that is minus root 6 by 6 comma root 6 by 6 so this is actually i have already told you that is minus root 6 by 6 is the lower limit and root over 6 by 6 is the upper limit so between this um, the, uh, so in between this range the weights will be initialized so from this you can see that uniform distribution technique and hey init technique uses only the incoming network connection that is ni only the Xavier or the Glorot distribution both in Xavier normal and uh, Xavier uniform it uses the outgoing network connections so this is actually the difference between the three types of techniques and um, uh, the researchers have found out uh, these three types of techniques these are the three formulas that have been found out by the researchers um, so you just have to uh, see this uh, formula you don't have to remember this formula or memorize this formula uh, because uh, uh, it will be helpful for you uh, when I will be showing you the practical implementations there you can see that I am using the different weight initialization techniques Xavier and hey in it so it is uh, very important uh, for you to know how this technique works uh, what are the basic concepts of the technique for this you must uh, go through this technique so that uh, when I will be doing the practical implementations in my future uh, videos uh, you can understand those part very well so uh, in my previous lecture I will be discussing with you about a very important part that is the dropout layers in neural networks and uh, it actually it is a very important part and why it is important uh, why the dropout uh, layers are used in neural network I will be explaining uh, the, with you in my next lecture uh, so that's all for this lecture see you in my next video thank you